Welcome to Mobile Car Mechanic. Today we have a change of scenery since the weather is a bit rainy. Uh, we're going to be working on a 2015 Honda Pilot doing a spark plug replacement. This is going to apply from 2009 to 2015, but as well as any Hondas that use a V6 engine. Alright, here are the parts and tools that we're going to need. We're going to need the spark plugs. We're going to need a 5 8 socket to go ahead and pull the spark plugs out with an extension. It's a regular 3 8 socket wrench, flathead, a magnetic tool to help assist with pulling out the spark plugs and then a uh, 10 millimeter socket to help take the nuts off of the ignition coils. A bit rod, put it right here, or if I could try to reach it, there's a service position. Which will be right here, give us a lot more room to get our head in there. All right. All right, so we need to take the cover off of the engine here. There's going to be two screws that use like a flathead. All you have to do is stick it in here, turn it left. You don't need to turn it all the way. We're going to do the other side here. All right, once they're loose, we should be able to pull the cover up. It's going to be held in by some rubber spots here. Just lift it up and pull it out of the way. All right, so we need to go ahead and remove the connectors on each coil. It's easier when the coil is bolted down. Just look at the little tab here. Put your thumb on it. You're going to push this tab down and then you're gonna pull up. I'm gonna do that for all three front plugs. Once these are loosened up, we're gonna go ahead and remove these 10 millimeter bolts on each coil. You can undo it by hand after. And then you can also pull the coil up. You may need to go around the fan sometimes. Just be careful not to drop this, the nut. Just pull out. Next step is going to be using a spark plug socket to go ahead and pull out the spark plugs. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and actually stick the socket in there to remove the spark plugs. You're kind of going to have to finagle with it because the fan is going to be in the way. So I'm going to stick my, the end of my wrench in first like this, like this extension, and then slide it in there. Now we're going to go ahead and stick our wrench in there. easier to get this out now hopefully to get this out so you can spin it out by hand because there's not really much space and there's a camera in the way which doesn't help now I'm gonna use a magnet because the little rubber piece fell out of my spark plug socket so it always gets stuck to it anyways the magnet usually makes it a lot easier so once you get that out right now we're gonna go ahead and get the magnet All you gotta do is just stick it in there. 
and just pull out the plug. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to match it up, see if they look the same to make sure that we don't have any problems when we put it in. Now this one, the original was an NGK. We're putting Denzos, which are still really good. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna gently place it in there since my socket doesn't have the rubber piece. You're not supposed to drop the spark plugs in there. So I'm just gonna let it gently go in there by hand. Now we're gonna go get our socket again, stick it in the fan first. And then go ahead and start doing it by hand. If you feel any binding, don't force it because you might strip the threads, which is going to cause a whole nother problem for you. And you don't need to go super crazy tight on these things. I think they're typically around like 20 foot pounds. I'm going to use the old trusty uh, go by feel. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten it in. out again. Not easy with one hand. I'm going to bump you guys a bit. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing for this one, this one right here. Make sure to get the extension towards the radiator and through the fan. The connector is always going to get in the way. There's no really going about that. Now we're going to go ahead and loosen it up. Do it by hand now. Going to use the magnet. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in slowly. Make sure you don't drop it in there. You can feel it bottom out without having to do anything. Go ahead and finagle this back in there. So, for forewarning, the backs, you're gonna pretty much go in blind. The fronts are usually the easiest. We're just knocking this out first. Off to the next. This one might be slightly tricky. No, we're good.
in with the magnet. I guess I didn't loosen it enough. wire harness that's going to bump everything right on the radiator fan. We're gonna go ahead and put the coils in. You can clip them in while we're doing this too. Hear them, make sure you hear that click. Now the last step is just put the little nuts to hold the coils down and then we're done. And these do not need to be crazy tight either. millimeter out. We're going to use two hands here. I'm putting the socket on there and turning it because it doesn't have enough resistance to have the ratchet lock and actually turn the nut. All right. And that completes the front three spark plugs. All right, now we're gonna go back to the rear spark plugs. Um, these are gonna be a bit difficult be not they're not hard it's just it's hard to see so we're, I'm gonna try to go ahead and put it on camera for you guys but you'll be able to do it by feel luckily with the pilot we have a lot more room back here 
some some Hondas can be a little tight. So um, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to bring in the camera with you with me to show you guys what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna have one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove each nut off each one after we remove the connectors. So that's one right here. And we got another one right there. And then we got another one. This one's kind of gonna be a pain just because there's stuff in front of it, but it's actually not that bad. Um, let me see if we can get you in there. Yeah, there we go. Just gotta get this hose out of the way to show you. And then that's the other guy right there. That's the last one. So we're gonna go ahead and start removing the connectors. Again, it's the same process as the front one. It's just more of a pain because there's no space back there to really get in your hand. Okay, try to remove this connector here too. On the second one. Okay, the third one. This one's gonna be hard to get. We might not be able to get this on camera. I don't have leverage because it's a really hard spot to get to. I heard one click. Here we go. Got the connector loose. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the 10 mils. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try and get our wrench in here. Might have to use an extension, I'm not sure. Very limited room. Might be better to use a like an actual wrench. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew this one here. And then the coil should pull right out. Alright, one coil out. On to the second one. nut. Let's go loosen that up. Alright, now we can get it by hand. Be careful not to drop the nut. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the coil out again. I'm gonna have to wiggle it. Alright, the third one, which is gonna be a pain, just cause. Might need to use an extension on it. We'll go ahead and see what we can do without doing so. All right. Yeah, it looks like I might need a shorty. know that there's lines, metal lines, that do make this not so fun. Like right now I'm currently blocked here. So, let me see what I can do. Good job, Honda. You can make this one easy. Alright, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna try using a wrench. We can have a chance with the wrench. It's just, it's really, the bolt is really tight. And not much room back here. So you're gonna probably hurt your fingers trying to get it out, but eventually we will get it out. I use 
used my socket wrench to kind of use it to push on the, the wrench to give me some leverage, which appears to have worked. All right. And then we get the nut off carefully. But I'm going to have to wiggle out this coil since it's going to be blocked by hoses and lines. Just make sure you just pass it through the hoses. And then, well, now the next step is to go ahead and try to get our wrench in there and socket to pull the plug up. All right, now we're going to go back in to each tube here. fight with it. Well, probably going to go ahead and pull the socket off first and then drop it in there because there's not really much room in there. And then I get to stick the extension in there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and loosen it up. be helpful to have an extendable ratchet on this one because these are tight. Socket off and I'll spin the socket by hand with the, the extension. You'll usually fill it when it's really loose. Alright, now we're gonna pull the extension out. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use our magnet to get the socket out. A lot of unnecessary bull for this, but it is what it is. Make sure not to drop it. The old, the new one in. Again, just make sure to just not let it drop. You can kind of just get your finger all the way in there, place it in the hole. I'm gonna put the socket in again. Now we're gonna go through this whole process again of getting this bloody thing out. This will be where your time is wasted for no reason. <sighs> All right, so I dropped my socket, so I had to go ahead and fetch that. Now we're gonna go on to the second one here. 
one doesn't have anything in the way, so we should be able to just drop the socket in there without a problem. That's the, is that the second one? No, that's the first one, right? Am I blind? Gotta tighten it. Mm -hmm. All right, got that one tightened. Now we're probably going to have some difficulty with this one. I might use two short extensions. Let's take a look here and see what we're going to be dealing with. Okay. I'm going to add another extension to that. Which is a short one right here and then just clip it on there gives us the ability to go ahead and get a socket wrench in there still not too much room but it's better than nothing there we go in there. 
try to get the hand in there. I'm probably gonna block the view. But this is where I'm at right here. Okay. Time to put the socket wrench in there. Sock here, and the next steps are going to be to put the coils back in place. All right, I'm gonna put the hardest coil in first to just get it out of the way. Just gotta fish it through. You're gonna probably have to play around with the top of it to get it to slide through here. So the hose, just be careful. It will eventually go through. There we go. Again, we're just going in by feel, but make sure that you put the, you feel it go onto the little stud. All right, I'm gonna put this one in place. This will be a lot easier. This is right in the middle. You always want the coil connectors pointing up and into the studs. I'm gonna go ahead and put the nuts in place since these are putting the connector in isn't that difficult. This one refuses to go into place. There must be something holding it up. There we go. One nut. Is going to be a bit difficult to, to try to get in there, but anything is possible. All right, just make sure you don't drop it, otherwise, you just hate your life. On this one, I'm just going to use a regular 10 millimeter wrench, and we don't have to go super tight on it. There's not very much room to deal with much at all, so you gotta take your time on this one for something so small and simple. Alright, we dropped the wrench. I wish I had my magnet, I don't know what you're doing with it. These tools are a blessing. Right, let's try to do two hands again so we don't get ourselves in the same position. plug in the connector for the ignition coil over there, get it out of the way, so that's the last step. And just go by feel, I can't see anything, you guys may be able to see more than I can. 
All right, heard the click. Good, good sign. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the two others. I just get this one here since so I can see it easily. All right. Got those tightened down. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the clips in for the connectors. Click. By the way, they only won't go in one way. Click. All right, everything's clicked in. Gonna put this beauty cover back on. Just make sure you line it up. What's gonna happen is there's gonna be these holes here. The little rubber piece must be stuck to this guy. Yeah. Which is fine. I'm not trying to take it off. Put it back in the hole. Alright, so we want to put the pegs that are here into those, into these holes. And then the screws that we're going to turn are going to go to these guys. So you're going to put the back end first down until you feel it go into the rubber. And don't push too hard, otherwise you might break it. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and use our flathead to put these little screws back in there. Feel it click. Same with this one. Feel it click. And that's it, we're done. Thank you for watching Mobile Car Mechanic. We just completed a spark plug replacement on a 2015 Honda Pilot, which applies for 20, 2009 to 2015, as well as many Hondas that use the V6. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.